Uh, my name is Bradley Durfee. I'm from the Fond du Lac tribe, and I came to this camp because uh, I love lacrosse, and I think it's probably the best sport ever. Hi, um, I'm Anthony Wells. I'm mid Walkington Sioux, and the reason why I came to the camp is because it was a native camp, and I wanted to try and meeting new people. I'm Dayton Buck. I'm from the middle Walkington Sioux, and I wanted to come here because I just think that lacrosse is fun and. But, uh, experience new stuff. I am Kayla. I'm from Nevada. Uh, my tribe is Navajo Paiute. And um, yeah, I just came down to Minnesota. My name is Aaron Bucknaga. Came to the camp to uh, learn how to play lacrosse, to have fun, make new friends, and uh, just hang out and have fun. And I'm from the Leech Lake Band of Ojibwe. I'm Ojibwe, of course. My name is Tony Kilspide, and I'm from East Lake, Minnesota, but I'm Malak, part of Malak's Band of Ojibwe. And then this is my second year here, and I came here to play against everybody and meet new people. Yeah, with the curriculum this year, we're trying to accomplish um, teaching these kids the value of lacrosse and the heritage of the sport and what that means to them and, and um, you know the history of the sport. But we also want to work on different community aspects as well, um, nutrition, fitness, um, different pieces that you know they can take forward in their lifestyles and, and help them become overall better kids. So um, that was our main goal with the programming this year, make sure we incorporated both pieces and, and have a well-rounded curriculum. Uh, two years ago there was no discussion on lacrosse, there wasn't even a, a discussion on the sport, this community. Uh, the only time you've seen the lacrosse was uh, on TV with an Ivy League college plan uh, over on the East Coast. and. That's probably the general consensus of everyone over the past years. It's like, wow, the, the, this is a East Coast game. No, it's not. It's a, it's a traditionally a Native American sport. What are you guys uh, goals this week? What are you looking to accomplish? Um, to get better, to have fun, um, get, get my fundamentals down, make sure when I leave here that I learned something and accomplished something I wanted to. The guys that were here last year have you know, kept the stick in their hand and the new kids are picking up really fast so it's uh, the skill level I think is a lot better than last year and uh, it's just getting better and better and we got some new guys from Oneida try that are out here and really impressive and they play the game so you know the skill level is a lot better and the, the ones that are just picking up for the first time are catching on really fast. So Dale you were here last year you got to experience the camp um, you know, what brought you back this year? Uh, camaraderie um, just a, just a great event for the kids to learn something new, work on teamwork. Uh, it's great to see the swarm staff. Um, I don't know, you name it. It's just it's great to get out here with different reservations, different kids, uh, urban, suburban. You know, it's just perfect to get out here. What are you looking to accomplish this week? Um, to cradle the ball and to learn more about how lacrosse is tied in between the Native American ways of playing and using it for helping people and stuff. Yeah, going so far for you guys. Uh, Pretty fun. Really fun. Yeah, it, the learning uh, new sports. Oh, yeah, yeah, new things about lacrosse. It, the drills are pretty fun too. What are some of your guys' goals this week? What are you looking to accomplish? What are we? Uh, to, be, to be better at lacrosse. Yeah, to be better and be able to play without making mistakes. Yeah, and get to high school with this. My my, my goal is to, um, by the end of the week, to be able to cradle a lot better than I can and like run and shoot better. Even just with a couple days working with these guys, you can tell that it's just in their blood that these guys have the, the natural skills and natural ability to play the game. And, you know, it's important always to help grow the game. And, uh, you know, these guys, are, they started the game. So it's, you know, it'd be great to see if they could uh, produce a, a quality program. I'm going to try to learn my left-handed and I just want to talk with Amy Keynes on the defensive pole and try to figure out how to use the deep pole. Um, I'm, I'm going to just figure out how to play lacrosse and get better at it. In the last two years, uh, between last year and this year's camp, uh, the program has grown. This year we brought girls into the program, uh, which I think is a huge asset to have. Uh, more and more uh, young women are being called on the leadership positions throughout the reservations. Uh, and I think that that gives them a sense of belonging. Uh, speaking with some of the tribal chairs, uh, the more girls that are active in athletics, uh, the lower rate they have of teen pregnancy. So I think that speaks for itself. Um, as far as the numbers, this year we had 28 last year. We're currently with uh, 44 kids. 
We increased the chaperone number and the reason for that was to have more leadership, uh, more mentoring going on. We uh, brought a couple of young ladies in who are college graduates. One of them is the uh, head coach at the University of Hamlin or Hamlin University. Uh, the importance of that is to having somebody that the females can associate with. Uh, and as far as the males, we uh, partnered up with the U.S. Marshal Service this year, which is a huge asset. Uh, obviously the U.S. Marshals have jurisdiction throughout the reservations in Minnesota, Wisconsin, and across the country. So the more visible we are, the more we're able to build those relationships, uh, the better we all are. Uh, the bottom line is uh, Lacrosse for Life builds leaders in the community through the youth, and when the kids take uh, leadership roles, we all win. Well, we got involved with this camp. Uh, we are a law enforcement agency that works uh, on Indian reservations and in, in and around Indian country. So. We looked at it as a great opportunity to uh, to get out there and you know be a part of the community and uh, get together with the kids in a role other than you know as active law enforcement uh, as an active law enforcement agency. Well, lacrosse, like we've been stressing, you know, it's in our blood. You know, it's our part of our heritage, and it's a lot of the games we play, our medicine games. You know, the traditional lacrosse game, but you know, playing in college over at Stevens Point and stuff. There's just a lot of bonds that are created, and um, you know, back home. You know, I guess it's just a way of people practicing their culture and their heritage and be able to do it, you know, here this week. Cheers. Delicious. <laughs> Wild rice meatballs. <laughs> Starting out. Wild rice bread. Wild rice green beans. Wild rice green beans. Wild rice green beans. We love wild rice. <laughs> 65. Woo. That's what you want to catch. Right in the middle. 73. Oh! 54. Yeah. Oh! 49. Oh! Okay, you guys, we're the three. Okay, show that was good. Clint, do it again. You're close. Oh! Oh! Whoa! 15. Got him dead on. How far? 83. Who's got the best? We're here. 73. 73. 73. Can you beat Joe? No. No. But he can get in the net. He beat Amy, though. Yeah, yeah, I only got a 20, but I hit a car. I can get in a net and all that. Car counts as 15. Yeah. Let's go, boys. We got this. So, get in, get in. All right, so we're down here. Yeah. Warriors on three. Warriors on three. Warriors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I got some lucky shots on him, hit him in the head. Riding in the, six car, riding in the car for six hours, coming up here, it was worth it. Yeah. Yeah. It was worth the game, it was worth the fun here. Cross is my favorite sport. And Joe and Amy did a good job. And Kevin. Pretty awesome to see the yeah. players out here too. Learned a lot of Teaching stuff us. from Joe, how to shoot, the proper way to shoot, yeah. the proper way to pass. Great new, new idols to look up to, Joe and Amy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> my idols, man. Ladies, we're very proud of you. This is tough to be thrown seven of you into a group of 40 guys. So we appreciate nine, nine of you <laughs> thrown into a group of 40 guys. We appreciate you being here, and we're excited to see that you're interested in the sport. And the women's sport's a little bit different, so we hope that you'll continue playing with it and maybe come down and watch with a, uh, watch and play with us sometime. So, yeah, good luck, ladies. Thanks for coming out, and hopefully the girl side of this grows to be just as big as the boys. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, you just got to get in there and be tough with the boy side of the sport and then um, maybe in the future we can have a chance to show you a little bit more of what the girl side's like and a little more finesse game. You know, and I really want our boys to be proud of themselves for making it through this. I know uh, it can be tough sometimes, the heat and everybody gets to them, um, taking away from their video games here and uh, I'm glad they're out there playing a team sport because that's the biggest thing, you know, there's no individuals, we have a team. I just want to thank everybody for putting on this, this great event here. You know, bringing me out to work with these guys, I, I'm truly honored to be part of this Lax for Life program and uh, to be part of this, you know, honestly I'm almost speechless because the, the group of kids are phenomenal to work with, they, they're listening, they're attentive, they're very respectful and uh, I'm really looking forward to the rest of the week, so thank you. Uh, thanks to Joe, thanks to Amy for teaching us this, thanks to everybody. Yeah, thanks to all the staff for being here on their own time and helping us. I would like to say thanks for all the communities that did show up, uh, and, and especially the kids. Just looking and looking, uh, looking at their friendships, uh, 
what they're what they're doing this week is really important. You don't see that every day, and uh, especially on uh, this reservation, you're, you're broken down into to communities. You stick to that community. You're, you're born in that community. You're going to die in that community. Uh, this, you're, you're you're expanding their horizons. And uh, what I tell the kids, hey, friendships are everlasting. Just make sure you make them and keep them. Ah, it's great. I mean, the kids are active. Uh, great job by the swarm uh, teaching these kids and you know you can just see the way they rip off those shots out on the field it's it's great to see them having fun uh, it's an excellent camp and an excellent opportunity for these kids uh, I guess I appreciate you know everyone being here you know and inviting us and just uh, you know especially uh, Josh you know and Brian you know being so accommodating with us uh, thanks for the extra room to appreciate that um, so um, but yeah it's been great here um, everyone's been real friendly so I appreciate and I'm thankful for uh, being a part of this. If you're watching me right now, go here. It's fun. But it, it's pretty important, and I think the, the community is uh, rallying support, especially with the campers' parents and uh, their family and friends. And we can only get bigger. Look at last year, we went from 27 to 47, and we have room for probably 75 next year. So uh, it's going to grow. It is growing.